So in this video, I want to summarize how we can formulate a linear programming problem for a longest path uh, problem. Okay, so first of all, you need your objective function. And so this is to maximize, and we want the sum, and we're going to have the arc weight. So each of the arc weights is going to be multiplied by its indicator variable. So if you've got a to b, and it's of weight 5, you're going to have 5 times a, b. Okay? And you're going to add all of those together. Right, then come the constraints. So these are very similar to what we did for shortest path. Okay? So we're going to have the sum of all the indicators from the start vertex. Okay, so all the indicators from the start vertex, uh, so all the roots out, that's going to be equal to 1, because only one of them is going to get picked, the rest are going to be 0. We're also going to have all the indicators uh, to the finish vertex, and likewise that's going to be equal to 1, because there's only going to be one root back to the finish vertex. Okay. Then we've got um, a constraint for each of the other vertices, which is the sum of the indicators uh, to the, each of the vertices. Okay, so to the vertex, and then you take away the indicators from the vertex, and that's got to be equal to zero. Okay, because they'll cancel each other out. Okay, so then the final type of constraint that we've got to deal with are all those kind of potential repeating edges. Okay, so uh, for each of those potential repeating edges, we want the indicators uh, to the vertex. Okay. Um, so to, well, you could say indicators to and from uh, the vertices. So let's put that from, um, to and from the two vertices. And that's got to be less than or equal to one. Okay, so that is, you've got one of those. Um, so if you've got A, B plus B, A. So if A and B, if A to B, A and B are not start or finish vertex, vertices, um, then you'd have A, B plus B, A. And that's going to be less than or equal to one. Okay, so that is how we can formulate an LP solver for a longest path problem. Very similar to the shortest path problem, it's just it's maximized rather than minimized, and you've got these extra constraints on any potential repeating edges.